are going to dive into Zoho Bookings, I want to give you a look at the back end, making sure that I walk through all of the main um, pieces that will show you how to use it. So you've got a calendar view. You also have a list view here. You can view by the current day, uh, week, month, and you also have a settings button here it says manage business and you'll be able to go in and make some adjustments here so when you first set up Zoho bookings you need to make sure you go into manage business and set up all of these pieces here so just so you'll know in this general tab is covering the information for your business so you'll go in and you'll You'll put all of that information in and make sure you set the working hours. And then you have a URL, which you can customize. You can use your own custom domain if you wish. Um, you also have the option to turn on or off notifications. So you can opt in or out here. And that's for the entire organization, just so you'll know, because we'll see some of these same options under these other um, sections but those are those are different those are drilled down to the workspace which is more like the location and then the services the custom labels is where you can change the name um you can use services you can use you know um, appointments or here consultants i think the default is staff um, so you can you can change this resource. This can be rooms or you know something that has to do with the actual location that maybe an appointment is taking place in. Um, so under the work workspace, you can have more than one location. And then again, you go in and you can make all of these um, adjustments here. So you can set up different services, right? They can be free or they can cost. And then you can set up your payment gateway as well so that you can receive those payments. You've got a note, another notification section where you can say what you do and don't want to be notified of for yourself or for the organization as well as for your customers. You can go in and you can put um, time in between appointments so that they're not back to back. So you can make adjustments there. You've got um, the ability to go in and do some custom functions or you know enable or disable these custom functions and then so on I'm not going to go through all of those details but basically the page you can go in and customize with different themes now there aren't a ton of options here however um, enough to you know maybe get close to your your brands colors and you can also add an image under services is where you'll see all of the details for each service. So you'll click on each service. You can activate it or deactivate it or enable it or disable it. Um, you can go in and assign staff or consultants to each one of those services. So everyone may not um, need all services under them. So you can make those adjustments. And then you can embed this as a widget for that location. So let's say on your website you have um, a different subdomain for a location in Dallas. You would go in, you would create your workspace for Dallas, and then you would have this code you could copy onto the Dallas sub, you know, domain, and then allow people to book appointments, which will only be for Dallas. Um, so you can go in and make changes to those at any time so even after it's published obviously you can still make changes here within Soho bookings and it automatically updates on the the website once you've embedded it um, now you have the consultants or the staff or the doctors or whatever the case is and you can go in here and set the hours for that um, role that person um, you can go and do a URL for them as well. So I can literally click on this and it will show my um, availability. And then the same thing, you can embed it as a widget. You can copy this code and then you can drop it into a website. The resources are the, we don't use this because we're virtual, but these are the rooms or location um, 
space within that location and you can add a resource so if you have certain appointments that happen in certain rooms that's what this is for and then you've got your integration section in the integration section you can um, allow Zoho bookings to talk to Zoho meeting or go to meeting or zoom coming soon this isn't actually here yet and whenever someone book an appointment in Zoho bookings it will also show up in Zoho meeting or you can automatically create a Zoho meeting so that they'll get a link and then whenever it's time for the meeting they simply click on the link inside of the email so it all works together very nicely this is why we use it, it it's it makes it very simple um, we, we you can um, use all of these different payment gateways these are your choices here and then the calendar this is what makes it great for me I'm able to sync the calendar with my Zoho calendar and on my iPhone so let's say I want to block time for Friday between 1 o'clock and 3 o'clock I can literally go on my iPhone make sure I choose my Zoho calendar right and it will not allow anyone to book that time in Zoho booking so they're all synced together it's a beautiful thing um, we also have this section here where you can connect it to your CRM or these other non Zoho products now we're going to look at there's a report section I personally don't use this very much but you do have the ability to go in and create reporting based off the year the week the month or you can customize um, so you can do that for all workspaces or each workspace doesn't matter and then you can also save the reports your customers everyone who create an appointment will show up here in this list so you'll be able to get to their information here ours is synced with our CRM so anytime someone does make an appointment they automatically become a lead in our CRM and then you have your own profile so each person who has Zoho bookings within your organization will have a profile so they'll need to make sure that everything is updated um, especially if they will be sharing their calendar um, and embedding it on a website or maybe even inside of their email we actually do that we have um, I use that in my email signature so when I send an email out I have a link at the bottom that says book um, time on my calendar and then people can literally book time from my email all right so let's take a look at this and see how it looks on the front end so all right so this is what it looks like and this is for the entire organization we do not have different um, calendars on the site for you know locations or for individuals all right so when our clients go in they can book a free consultation and online conference call um, once you've selected it then whatever times are available will show here and um, it will take into consideration any buffer time that you've put between meetings and then they can change their time zone and then it will obviously reflect that in the available times um, once they've chosen just choose one they enter their information proceed and then click submit to confirm and then it will not only add them in bookings but for us because it's integrated also add them into our CRM all right so I think I covered everything if you have any questions about Zoho bookings or if you'd like for me and my team to assist you in any way I've left our contact information in the description below and if this video has added any value to you please give us a thumbs up if you have constructive criticism we welcome that too so please do reach out to us leave a comment um, you can also give us a 
uh, call or chat with us when we're online.